Hi, and welcome to another video by CopierTalk.com. We're installing yet another printer. This time we're focusing more, not really on the setting up of the printer, because we've already established how to set up our queues and, and setting up all of our ports and whatnot. What we're going to try and focus on a little bit more is setting up our hole puncher, our finisher, our user codes, things like that. Things that we've played with in the or not played with in the past, but things that people purchase and then they install their printer but they have no idea how to enable them so that they can use them from their applications. So that's what we're going to touch on today. What we're going to do is right click on our printer. This is the printer I just installed. It's a, just a generic printer. We're going to go to our printer properties and up here you can see all of our tabs. General, sharing, ports, advanced, color management. I'll go into color management later when I install a color printer. That's a whole video, maybe even a couple of videos all on its own. What we want is our device settings tab. Okay, and right now it's a black and white printer. Again, this is a generic driver because I kind of had to fool it so I could play with it. So, so I can show y'all some of these features. And I'm going to tell it we have four drawers, a paper deck. It is capable of two sided printing or duplex. Some manufacturers use duplex, some manufacturers use two sided printing. It just depends on which manufacturer you talk to. Staple, saddle stitch. Some copiers have a mailbox where you can store the document remotely and then walk up to the control panel or even log in via a remote user interface and then be able to print it from there. Spooling it hosts. Sometimes you want it spooled on your computer. Sometimes you want it spooled on the device. Sometimes you send it a document that is way too big for the device so you want it spooled on your PC. Sometimes you've got kind of a slower PC so you want it spooled on the device. It takes a little bit longer to print but there's a trade-off there. Department ID management. Say you want to keep track of how much purchasing is printing or how much research and development is printing or how much the boss is printing versus the secretary versus the uh, youth group versus the pastor. I mean there's just so many endless possibilities for, for department ID management. If you want to be able to set the username say I wanted my name Red Flintstone to be sent to the printer every time I print to it. Under Department ID Management, let's touch on that just for a second again. If I want to allow a PIN number, say it's 1234, and I also have a password that's 1234. But say that I don't want it to come up and ask me every time for that password or that username. I can uncheck the confirm ID. I mean, if the pastor's always using that PC, why would I want him to have to hit OK every time he sends a document? But if the pastor, the secretary, housekeeping, and janitorial staff all use that PC, it may be better to have it confirmed for each print job. That way it's easier to monitor from that PC who's using it, who's using how much paper. If you want people to specify a mailbox, they have to say, okay, uh, Bob is mailbox one, Joanne is mailbox three, Marianne is mailbox five, and go that route. And then always apply, and then you hit okay. And that would set up all of your different accessories, features, or options for your printer. Again, each printer is different. Each one has different options. Not all of them have staplers. Not all of them have mailboxes. Most do. It's just you're going to have to look at your operator's guide. and, and uh, Most times you can tell from looking at the outside, but 
uh, sometimes they hid the stapler inside of a finisher and you don't know if there's one there or not. It's just, you know, you got to kind of look into your books a little bit, read your operator's guide, and check and see. But that's where I want to touch base with y'all today. Just have you look at it, know where those options are, know where they can be enabled at, so you can take advantage of them. There's no point in spending a considerable amount of money on a stapler if you can't ever use it. And it makes for a better document, better presentation when you take it to your boss to tell him, hey, I want a new copier. And you can show him, hey, our old one just stapled this. We want this feature for our new one. I thank you again for watching another video, copiertalk.com. Y'all have a great evening.